to me what just happened. Uh, I have some urgent matters to attend to. I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Why are you trying to get rid of me? And why did you just run out? We were getting so romantic and we could have continued if you didn't just leave. So tell me why you did that. Oh my God. Spinelli, are, are you having performance anxiety? Maximus may rest assured she need never doubt my um, prowess or my ability to perform. As it were, I, I assure you, I'm fully functional and ready at all times. Okay, good. Then I think I know what's going on. You do? Yeah, I can put clues together. I mean, we were making out in your office, and then you left and ran here. I followed you. We talked about it through the door, and then you pulled me inside. Answer, you're shy about sex. I think that's cute. I could deal. I, you don't know what you're missing. Making love on a rooftop underneath the stars can be amazing, but that's fine. You could take me on the couch or in your regrettably pink room. Kiss me, Spinelli. What's wrong with you? Do you not like me anymore? Like you? My heart is full of you. But therein lies the rubs. He, my feelings for you are so deeply ingrained and powerful. I, I can't risk making love to you ever again. Okay, is this like a sports thing? Sports thing? Yeah, you know how sometimes athletes are supposed to abstain from sex before a big game or a fight or something. Well, what, what does that have to do with me? Well, I don't know, Spinelli. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And frankly, you're not helping me very much. Uh, is there some obscure rule in your detective handbook that says you're not allowed to be distracted by fatal females? Uh, femme fatales? Same thing. If, if anything, my studies have stressed the importance of a savvy, smart, and sensual dame in a hard-boiled detective's life, and you, you possess those qualities in abundance. Then I don't get it. When you say you have these deep, powerful feelings for me, and I have them for you, too. Do you, really? Spinelli, don't you know that by now? My feelings for you are more deep and powerful than anything I've ever known. That's beautiful. I think so, too. So... Why can't we have sex? I'm, I'm humbled and, and flattered by your desire, but I, I do feel compelled to remind you that we have known each other in the biblical sense on two occasions, and in both times, remorse and, and heartbreak swiftly followed. So rather than risk another perhaps permanent, painful misunderstanding, uh, I'd rather just leave the things the way they are. You're right. The first two times ended up a hot mess. Not the sex, that was good. You really think so? You have no idea how incredible you are. My fondest wish is to take you to bed and not leave for a few days, but... You don't want to do that, and I understand. No, you, but you understand it is not for lack of desire. I know. It's because I messed up. I used you, Spinelli, both times we made love. The first time was because I was afraid, and the second because I was jealous. But you deserve better. I'm selfish. I damage things. I'm really sorry. I do not regret one moment spent in sublime repose with Fair Maximista. What's repose? In, in this context, peace and tranquility. You mean like the after part, the cuddling and stuff? No, all of it. We could have that again, Spinelli. I know being with me makes you really nervous and self-productive, but things have changed. I've changed. I finally know my own heart and you're it for me. It's not just about having sex. I want to be close to you, as close as two people can be. 
in repose. You make it difficult to resist. Good. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, go! No, I, I, actually, no, no. Stumble's entrance is most timely. You can help the jackal avert certain disaster. <laughs> 